Warning! Twitch After Dark is rated NC-17 and is therefore considered not safe for Wuna. Twitch After Dark's content is not considered suitable for young viewers, the faint of heart, or the easily offended. Twitch After Dark may contain strong language, offensive jokes, sexually clop-suggested material, and excessive derping. The views expressed on Twitch After Dark do not directly reflect the views of Brony TV or their affiliates, including but not limited to Philadelphia Radio and Ponyville Live. Brony discretion is strongly advised. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Twitchy F Dark, and as per usual, I'm your host, Twitchy, and joining me this week is Dits Nada. I'm eating homemade lasagna. Catnick. My mouth is on fire. Lightning on fire. On. Shut the fuck up, cat. And. Resident, where the hell is Chalice? Who cares? <laughs> Guys, um, has anyone seen Chalice? No. He probably got deported. Yeah, uh, Bieber well, took him I'm, with him as a kidnapped hostage. I'm looking like at the care. table. I'm looking at the table here, and I am totally noticing not Chalice, but a purple pony. I think your name is Morality. It's either that or Fuck Nugget. I can't remember. <laughs> hey, that's my thing, you fuckhead. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Chellis is out, uh, let's say sick, and filling it for him this week is Morality. Hey, guys. Yay. Hey, maybe we'll stay on topic this time, for one. <laughs> probably not. Yeah, this, is twitchy yeah, after probably not. this is Twitchy After Dark. We always find reasons to not stay on topic. But our arch enemy isn't here. Arch enemy being Chellis and his distracting pictures. If I have to send morality distracting pictures just so we can keep this show an hour long, I will. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'll ban They will be very distracting. Ditsy, I hmm? dare you. Ditsy, Twitchy? send send pictures send pictures of yourself. You're really distracting. Hello. Oh. Twitchy, I have a fap on Titan folder. A uh, what, what on Titan? <laughs> A what on Titan folder? Th that's what I call I'm... Attack on Titan. Rule 34, I call it Fap on Titan. Wow. Oh my god, Tensi, please, no. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go kill myself now. Wow. Did, did wow. I mention that all of it's Yaoi? I don't know who Yaoi is, wow. but I, I have a feeling I don't want to know who Yaoi is. You don't want to know what Yaoi is. Catnick, uh, because I'm a sadistic bastard, I'm going to explain what Yaoi is on the chat I will just here. link it to him. No, that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and explain it. While we actually start show. So, anyway, we just got a... Uh... Well, okay. Hmm. For those who don't know, this is actually part two of a two-part episode that was supposed to air on Thursday, but somebody's computer decided to hiccup on us. <clears throat> It's the Mexicans that are against us. So, we are forced to do an episode night when we were supposed to be off. I'm sorry to call you hey, all you on, your it. on your night off. Nah, I'll fucking kill you. But, um, yeah, so this is uh, the episode that I have ultimately dubbed Stupid Sexy Applejack. Not really about Applejack. It's more of Lightning Fans, I'm gonna kill the world segment. <laughs> It's more about a certain... It was an episode more about a certain marshmallow that I still haven't figured out why the writers haven't killed off yet. Because she's got too many fans and they don't want burned down buildings. Rarity dies in the movie. So anyway... Thank God. Um, and that's when we... And that's when our HQ was stormed by... And that's when Canadians. all of the Rarity Canadians. fans attacked. Can it what are they going to oh. do? Attack us with maple syrup? <laughs> maple <laughs> syrup Canadian. is really, really tough to walk in. Exactly. If they throw it down, we will never be able to go anywhere. What are they going to do? Hit us with there's a hit. There's a, certain, hit us there's a certain Canadian that I'm throwing an apology out to. Lol. Okay. No, are, I'm you, gonna, are I'm you apologizing, Bumble? 
I yes. <laughs> what about Envy? He has feelings too. Also, he's a Rarity fan, so. Yeah, he's one of those three Rarity fans that are gonna ride against us. And oh God, like, he's whatever. the one that's going to be leading the Maple Assault. Oh God. Everybody, everybody, keep an eye on Envy, and, be, and keep him away from the grocery store so that he can't buy an ample supply of maple syrup. <clears throat> so, We're doomed. so anyway, so anyway, this is not the Envy Attacks Brony TV show, but is rather the, the Twitchy After Dark show. Essentially, we try to stay on topic. It never happens, but hey, Morality's here, so to tell us, so it, we don't know. It's not going to stay on topic. There's no it's way in hell it's going to. Well, we just got into an entire conversation about Ian's attacking us with maple syrup, so... Ew. And we've already mentioned our porn for the night. We've already mentioned what? Porn. Porn! Yeah, we did mention porn already. So Everyone's that, got porn. That's a check on the, the porn, checklist. porn, porn. The instant next to school porn. Ding! Oh. Cats, tubes, and porns. Speaking of porn, the first uh, the first topic on today's on today's agenda is pony crushes in the show. It crushes my heart to see such a thing Wait, be. Was this the episode with the surprise butt leap? No, that was uh, last ep- that was last episode. Yeah, yeah I already no, that explained was last that to him. Week's... Twitchy, in fact, sent me oh. a very disturbed thing because I sent Never him a mind. picture of softcore, and he's like, "Oh God, I don't want to see hardcore." <laughs> Lol. Anyway. Oh my! You guys are a bunch of nerds. You got pony porn. It's not ponies. It's two yeah. adult men in the military in an animated cartoon. Yeah, that's the same no. thing, really, when you think about it. So, anyway... In a metaphysical way. Pony Crush is in the show, let's do it. Hey, so he any... put up the picture, yes! So, <laughs> anyway... <laughs> what did he kill the pawn? Basically... Uh, this episode shows that Rarity has a huge frickin' crush on on a new pony who we've never seen before that is apparently loosely based off of a real-life brony or some shit. It... Fenning! Did... Fenning! Fenning! I thought you Fenning. said it was based off of another thing. Fenning! 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 It's a baba. M. Night of Shyamalan. God damn it, Except, Obama. you know, without the plot twists. But... Actually, without the twist. What a twist! What about twist plot? No, stop um, it. We're gonna get Shyamalan if we keep this up. We're gonna we're get gonna really get, bad action. Shyamalan. Stop it. Let's move uh, on. Ah, yes. She was introduced. We were introduced to a new character who is a obvious, more obviously, more obviously a hipster than well, a lot of hipsters yeah, in real faggot. life. That's what he is. Named Trenderhoof. Trenderhoof. Like I said. Trenderhoof. Ditsy has the sniffles. Hey, yes, Ditsy I do. And it either, that, either that or she's got a lisp, which is which will oh, then no, we sacrifice her along Ditsy with Twist. And, yeah, we'll have to sacrifice you, Ditsy. Sorry. I don't have a lisp. What did you did? I think you do, though. I You're used just to. hiding it. Yeah, so hide anyway. It underneath your southern accent. Oh, no, so, I actually did used to have a lisp. Truth is out already. So anyway, basically, like I said, they re- they introduced a new crush for Rarity, which brings her up to, what, three crushes so far in the series? At least. She's I mean, only casually a slut. She had, oh, very much so. She had one on uh, Blue Blood. At and then Fancy Pants. What and scares me pants. more is she had a shrine dedicated to him. Yes, she had a Helga, yeah, Pata- Helga. Uh, Helga Dupataki, which I probably said the middle part wrong, uh, a shrine to uh, Trenderhoof, which is, in its own right, pretty horrifying, especially if you know who Helga Pataki is. Maybe which I don't. Doesn't she look like the Cynthia doll from Lugrat? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Just find that out there. I, I don't know why I just thought of it. I just randomly remembered that. Helga Pataki, Helga Pataki was the girl from Hey Arnold that had a huge crush on Arnold. 
to the point where she had a shrine to where she had a shrine made out of bubble gum. And she couldn't tell about all bubble gum that he's head. chewed. I might add. Okay, that is pretty creepy. Also, I'd like to point you out know, while we're on the top. While we're on the topic of trend, trend of what the hell is this key mark? I think it's supposed to be two patches sewn up. It is. On the one hand, at least it's not a grumpy cat. I don't understand why you're Cal still would on that. that. I am never going to get off that. Okay? Oh my! Grumpy, the grumpy cat cutie mark was probably. Why did I stop paying attention to the cutie marks? It really was. At least his cutie mark isn't, like, something like Twilight Kane. At least you his know, cutie mark be... is not anything phallic or phallic-like. I was going to say, to the Twilight Kane thing, you know, at this point, with the writers are going with this show, I wouldn't be surprised if a pony does show up with a Twilight Kane as a cutie mark at some point. That would be kind of weird. Goddamn meme. Hey, Twilight. You're my cutie mark. You know, I feel hey, like... Hey, hey, save those lines for the end. You know, well, I feel like if Discord ever does turn into a pony, he should have a Twilight King cutie mark. If Discord ever turns into a pony, we all know what his cutie mark's gonna be. Of himself? Whatever no. Star Swirls is. Ho ho ho! No, you know, know like, you know what I feel like... You know what I feel like would be... A much better cutie mark if Discord ever turned into a pony. A hangman's noose. No, it should be a picture of Tom Hiddleston's face. Ah! Yes. It should be something. Lol. Lol. Anyway, but uh, the problem with Rarity's crush on Trenderhoof was he did not have a crush on her. No, no, no. He had a crush on Applejack, who in herself has a crush on apples. Well, Applejack, I don't understand how. Applejack I thought, is the most I thought she had a crush. Pony there is. I thought she had a crush on uh, Bloomberg. No, hey, well, keeping the insults out of this. I thought we were all under the agreement of that little hint at the end of the episode. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I went back and watched the episode, and she doesn't actually say the le part, but she is cut off before she, she can finish the sentence, which makes me wonder. It's still pretty for, obvious with how uncomfortable she is. It seems like she was trying to come out. For for the record, for those who don't know, at the end of the episode, uh, Applejack starts to say, uh, "I'm flattered, but I'm a," uh, and is cut off. But she so, does it like where she stutters and stumbles over her words a couple times. So it honestly sounds like they almost outed Applejack as the first lesbian character in a little girl's cartoon. Which should have happened. Oh my. It really, you know, I, 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 honestly... With how much... Her... Honest... Go ahead. In all honesty, it really should have, you know. Just because, you know, I think it would have been a bold statement. Yes, the episode would have been banned, a la derpy, but it still would have been a good little, you know, just quick little message, you know? With how I'm seeing how mature the show is getting with some of its topics, I would not be surprised if next season we get an episode talking about it. Like, seriously. Like a pony would... comes in besides Rainbow Dash that has a rainbow cutie mark. The ha ha <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Um, it's just... Ha, huh, I forgot what I was going to say. This happens sometimes, people. Just bear with me, just bear with me. I feel like if Disney can get away with it, good luck, Charlie, we can do it with ponies. Okay, I yeah, really, exactly. really hope... Like, I, I don't know, it would be a really good lesson to learn to be accepting of everyone, no matter what. Exactly! <laughs> You know, I almost want to come out with a transgender character, too. That'd be cool. I mean, that, that would be a good message, and My Little Pony would be a good way for them to do this, you know? You know, you just about make Twist. Kissed. Huh, and Twist is transgender. Actually, it'd be, you could get a message out to a few other people, to other <laughs> ponies, I guess. You could say that would be a show. big twist, Twitchy. Hey, exactly. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I thought 
Stop it, we're gonna get Shyamalan again. You... Ah. Uh, I honestly like the idea of them either doing a gay character or a uh, transgender character. Because it would get a message across to the... To, to, to not just, you know, bees in general, but everybody that watches the show. <laughs> I think it'd so, be nice. It... So, anyway, the whole point of this topic was the, you know, the whole... The, 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 the uh, crush trifecta. Spike has a crush on Rarity. Rarity has a crush on Trenderhoof. Trenderhoof has a crush on Applejack. And Applejack has a crush on Apples. It's love a Pentagon. Pentagon. And the apple has a crush on Spike. And Spike has a crush. had a crush on Fluttershy. <laughs> no, Fluttershy, Fluttershy has a crush on the apples too. Fluttershy is all. Oh yes. Oh god, this is gonna end up like the Homestuck timeline. Stop it right now. Yes. My little Homestuck. No. My little confusing as shit. <laughs> 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 I have Doritos. <laughs> I have Cheetos. That's why my mouth is so, so hot. Oh my. So It but, burns, no, burns, burns. Let, I mean, In the van and making a fire. Okay! Let, let's say for a second that, you know, that they, they, they did open that up. You know, and it that, that they did out Applejack as a character. Uh-oh, I didn't mean that. Let's say for a minute that they did uh, out Applejack as a lesbian. Would it be considered offensive? Uh, Wait, what? I don't think it would be... It'd be awkward. Wait, what's the question? I said, let's say for a second that they outed Applejack as a lesbian. Would it be offensive? Hmm. hmm. Not really, I mean. Hmm. He's trying to say Maybe. a bit. I am, but I'm not at the same time. Okay. Um. I don't think to the children it would be. Most children don't really comprehend that there's anything wrong with it. They feel like because they've been taught by mommy and daddy that if a mommy and a daddy love each other very much that they get married and have babies. So to little kids, if Baby. you love each other, then it shouldn't matter. Because you can have a family. But to a lot the of, of adoption. Uh, to a lot of um devoutly religious, that way it's not just targeting Christians, because let's face it, Muslims and all kinds of people are against it too. The but Jews. to to those that are devoutly religious or devoutly anti homosexual in nature, or bisexual, or transgender, anything like that, I think that it could have some repercussions as far as parents not letting their children watch the show because it doesn't follow their beliefs. Yeah, but we what, we still have a large enough fan base to keep the show going. Not to mention that... Uh... With such a with the internet and all this and it, it being such a widely accepted idea, I'm pretty sure even Christian parents will, as long as also, they're not how, heavily Christian or heavily I mean, uh, Muslim, could will not mind it too much. Well, maybe, or like I wish they could like maybe get the message across that like they're the pe these are the people out here and it's all right to accept them, just like don't bully them or something like that. Something like that. I don't like. I mean, like I, at the end of the day, no bullying message. Exactly. Although, to be honest, if they're gonna do a no bullying message, I'd rather they do it with Derpy. Like, like Derpy is like she's like mentally retarded, and they can use it as like a tolerance episode, you know, for to 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 understand that the, you know, the mentally challenged are in fact you know no different than us. You know what they're I think they need to too. do. I think that if they ever come out with a gay pony, and this is just my personal preference, because, um, as you guys know, Ellen Page just came out of the closet, like, last night. Wait, Ellen Page? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, there goes all Twitchy's hopes and dreams. <laughs> anyway, I'm... I feel like the best thing they could do is do something similar to how Ellen Page did last night when she came out. Because the way that she went about it was, um... 
they invited her to speak out at a human rights uh, convention conference thing. And, like, she had advocated the rights for everybody else, but she was scared to come out herself because she was afraid it would taint her work. Because a lot of producers will not hire gay actors and actresses. So she's kind of kept quiet. And so she finally came out, and I think the best way to phrase it, even on a show for little girls, would be the way she did. That it's bad to lie, it's bad to pretend to be someone else. Because as long as you're giving those kind of messages about honesty ding, 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 then a lot of parents, even though they're frustrated, are not going to be as mad as if you as if you were to come out with a character and just be like, hey, I'm gay, you have to accept it. Yeah, that would maybe, cause way too much drama, much like someone else maybe, did. Maybe that's, maybe that's how Apple Jack gets her cutie, or maybe that's how Applejack gets her key. She comes out being honest about her sexuality. There we go. Uh, and it glows uh, rainbow! Uh, <laughs> I still want to think Man, that. So ditzy, that would be quite a dramatic scene. <laughs> so, Ditsy, I understand you were offended by this episode. Yes. I Go was. Ahead. Go ahead, Ditsy, explain. Pour Expl the drama. I'm going now. Nope. Well. I'll let Twitchy finish his point. Wait, what? I'm done. Talk. Oh, how offensive was the episode? Truly, that's what we're going into, morality. This is the part where I get all ranty and ragey. And then we get into, uh, over... Yeah. Alright, so... Here we go. Um... As far as everything goes... Ye okay, I heard a ding. Oh, okay. It's not me. Um, as far as everything goes, yes, this episode offended me greatly. I've been given a week to calm down, so I'm not going to scream and kick a hole in my wall or anything. But, I mean, let's face it, at, at least sometime in the fandom, every pony is going to get butt hurt a little bit. So don't pick on me for getting butt hurt. As far as all of this goes, um, I felt like this episode was kind of mm, stereotyping southern people and mocking them. I feel like Hasbro really disregarded how their Southern fans would feel being mocked. Because when you start looking at things like, um, I love being covered in mud. I don't care about my appearance. Oh, my hair looks like crap every day. The banjos. I mean, yes, it's all comedic, especially the little kids that don't know any better. But eventually those kids are going to grow up. And the things they see on TV is how they're going to perceive that area. Like when Rarity's sitting there pretending to be country to impress a guy. And she's doing all of these stereotype things and talking about how people don't care about their appearance. And she acts intellig unintelligent. It makes these kids grow up with these perceptions that we're all stupid and ignorant and like hearing the banjo, which honestly, the banjo is the most annoying instrument outside of the accordion in the world. I think it's even worse sometimes. And when you run into things like, um, oh, I don't care about my appearance. I work all day too much, or I work too much to care about my appearance. Oh, my hair is frazzled. I like wearing straw hats. And even going as far as to do the freaking buck tooth dumbass face with the jackass sounds, that's not cool. I really, really did not appreciate it. I felt like it was stereotyping, and I felt like if it had been anything but a region of the United States that they were mocking, more people would have been offended. For example, and I hate to bring up race because a lot of people get pissed off when I bring up race, apparently, but hypothetically speaking, if Rarity had come on with mud all over her face, eating watermelon and fried chicken and pretending to be black, do you know how much the demographic would have been cut? They would have never allowed that to go on air, so why would they allow them to mock Southern people? And that's my rant. Hooray! I just want to say one thing, and that they, they weren't necessarily making fun of stereotypes as much as they were just 
plain. Like, they were making fun of stereotypes, but they weren't making fun of Southern people in general. She was going so extreme that it's just unbelievable. Still very unacceptable. It's almost unbelievable. They but were the thing doing... Is, Go ahead. It, it may be unbelievable. Just, like, honestly... Again, with my race thing, every black person in the world liking rap music and watermelon and fried chicken and grape Kool-Aid, that's ridiculous. So stereotyped, it's funny. But people can still get offended by it. People out there that believe that kind of stuff, that black people are ignorant. So I feel like, yes, it was overly ridiculous. We as adults can see that. But for a show made for three to eight-year-old little girls, they're not going to see that. And they're going to have that perception growing up that Southern people are stupid. And they're going to meet a Southern girl or a Southern boy one day, and they're going to be completely flabbergasted because the South is nothing like that. I live in the area where the term hillbilly was coined. I live at the foot of the Appalachian Mountains. I live in an area where a lot of it is farming. In fact, me and my parents, we garden. Most of our fruits and vegetables come out of our backyard. And I've already been mocked a lot online. When people find, I'm a, find out I'm a girl, it's bad enough. When they find out I'm American, oh my god. When they find out I'm from Georgia, assume I'm stupid and they don't even give me a chance to me one minute to speak my mind they would understand that the 3.8 GPA that I have was earned I, 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 still I think totally you like understand people but that's just me I totally understand your beef with them picking on a down like a, a, ge a general region of people for example if they made fun of surfers I grew up in California. I grew up on the coast of California where there were a lot of people who were like that, but almost none of them, not a lot of them were. So if they did that, I might be a little offended, but I wouldn't be too offended. But I see your point with uh, little kids getting impressions from this that they really shouldn't have. That's my yeah. big thing. I'm not so not so butthurt about the episode itself, like it offending me. I'm more upset that they would allow children to go into the world having this viewpoint. Well, that's why uh, it's a family show, so families watch together. So when they start, at, it's uh, parents will. Uh, um, the, it's the parents' job to teach the kids right. Cat, and... there's still a lot of bad parents out there. Hell. A... Still, I'm pretty sure most parents will go against that, at least ones that will let them watch the show. But there's still enough to still create the stereotype racist thing. Okay. So on to Lightning! I really quiet. Lightning, you also had a rant. Yeah, but mine's not like region lock. I was really pissed off at the episode. I... Like, no, I, I'm I'm mad at this episode. Like, how does this even pass? This was really, really bad. I'm just the writing was bad. The acting was all right. Just the lesson learned was okay, but it was really bad how they brought it out. At, at this point, it's like a season three episode. They know what not to do, and yet they still did it. I mean, I I'm more or less. What? Isn't there like new writers or something on with it? I more or less go? saw it. I more or less saw it as a really bad fan fiction. You just told. Uh... So did I. I. I never like. I can't even talk as much as that. I, I said that directly to it. you, and you, you. I said that directly to you, and you talked me off about calling it a bad fanfic. <laughs> Wait, I did. Uh, well, no. I, I kind of agree with you, though, Kat, you know? Like, I did agree with you, if you remember. But you Does also it, said I I'm used it very too. badly and loosely and stuff. This didn't even like feel I like said, an episode. It felt like a 12-year-old wrote this at the last moment. Like I said, I mean, it just, to me, it felt like somebody... You know, like they weren't, they didn't even bother, you know, looking at the script before approving it. They were just like, oh, yeah, huh, this would be funny. Everyone will love it. La, 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 well, la, la, la. Can, 
Can I ask something? Who was it that wrote this episode again? Uh, the new guy that wrote Castlemania. I can look Isn't that up he right also now the one? Wants. Isn't he also the one that Forrest was talking about that wrote a lot of the one-liners for Pinkie Pie this season? I have no idea. If it's the same guy, then, um... I would almost look at replacing him, otherwise knocking him down a peg, because if it is the same person, then a lot of the one-liners he's come up with pink come up with for Pinky, a lot of people haven't been too happy with either. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And it I, seems I, like he's almost mocking the show, and nobody is stopping him. He seems very uh, sentimental to the series. I really think they. I'm just gonna let you yes. guys talk for a while. Josh Haver is the guy who uh, wrote this episode. Yes, well, we that's the same one that's been kill. writing the lines for Pinkie Pie. I was gonna say. I was gonna say Pinkie Pie has gotten a lot weirder this season. Like I wouldn't say her one-liners have been bad per se, but she has gotten weird. Uh, I don't want to bring up Nick, or I don't want to bring up this week's episode, but at the same time, I kind of do. Uh, if you've seen this week's episode, um, if you've seen this week's episode, you'll notice that Pinky was kind of a bitch in it for no reason. Which we'll, we'll I'm making that one of the topics for next week but it does kind of feel like every you know it does kind of feel like you know they are turning Pinkie Pie into this one note she doesn't think before she talks character <laughs> she's pumped up on sugar most of the time so in, uh, impulses impossibil impulsibility is that even <laughs> did, did, God did you see God the twist damn. picture He's laughing out loud, I'm pretty sure he did. <laughs> but seriously, Hasbro could have done way better than this. This is just... This is what so cute to how bad... I'm not even gonna look at the stream. It was Twist with wings. <laughs> <laughs> it was That's Twist good. as an alicorn. No one would see that coming. And that was a day where we all died. And that and was on the day, day that every Brody. That was the day that every Brony just gave the fuck up. Except exactly. the people who nope. like Twist, which is a whole one. Which uh, I'm gonna say the whole Sky point Dream. five. I like Twist. Sky, Sky Dream, Dream like Twist. She she but, did. But yeah, Who's Sky Dream? Or sorry, Sky Dream was a mod on here for the longest time. Uh, she freaking loved Twist. Twist was, like, one of her favorite characters. Where did she go? Did she vanish off the face of the Earth? We don't know. Hmm. Oh, well, back to the topic. Right. So, anyway, let's play a little game of Jeopardy here. Things that rhyme with... Lightning, I will slap shit out of you. No, Twitchy, you still need to say the topic as he's doing that. It fits. Fine. Things that rhyme, things that rhyme with overly, o overly dramatic for a hundred, Alex. There we go. Lightning, you can Boom. stop. Boom. What is rarity? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The answer was... <laughs> <laughs> Morality! You sound more tough than the play! Welcome to Celebrity so my Jeopardy! Was good. Our guests today are Oprah Winfrey, Mr. Rogers, and Sean Connery. Uh, no! And that old guy the in the mine. corner. The day is mine, Alex. Name something that rhymes with Schmexus. Texas. <laughs> Uh, the, answer, the answer is obviously a nexus. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the answer to it is Shmoklahoma. Shmoklahoma. What about yeah. Texas? Wait. Wait, I find that offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving this character. <laughs> so anyway, Rarity was taking things way too dramatically in this episode. 
Like, honestly, she didn't need to go to the extreme she did. We've already gotten into that rant. We'll go into this one. I don't know. You know, I don't... When I find... When I have a crush on someone, I don't go to the extremes that she did to, 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 to get them to like me. You know what I mean? Yeah, can, it's just... Can I, can I say one thing? 42? No. Is the, would... an is the answer Jesus? Yes, it's totally Jesus. The Look, southern answer Jesus, is always Jesus. Me. What about Santa Christ? Santa anyway, Christ? anyway, go Satan ahead. Santa Christ? Go ahead, Anyway, Nancy. um, I was going to say, though my rant was really lengthy and complainy, there are some southern people that act that stupid. Like the whole, I love being covered in mud, overly dramatic moment. That's why we have a sport called mud Mudden down here. And yes, it's Mudden without the G. Yeah, that's really stupid. If I remember correctly, that is, uh, um, it's, that's people driving tr trucks through mud to see if they can get, to see how far it, they can get right. It's not really just mud. It's like, we literally take a dried out lake bed, or create one, and fill it with water enough to make the whole thing muddy. And then we, um proceed to spin our wheels to see as far deep as we can go, see how much mud we can sling on the other vehicles, um, and see if we can still now, get no, out of the guys. pit we create. Now, no, we have a water crisis. We're losing a bunch of water in the ecosystem. I wonder oh. why. Oh, and it's really funny because some people don't do it in cars and trucks. Some people do it on four-wheelers. Or like my stupid niece, they decide... She and her boyfriend and the girl that he's cheating on her with decide they're going to have a mud fight. Can I just mud say fight. one thing? Can I say one thing? Lightning, you have no idea how the water cycle works, do, do you? Uh, I do. I'm not going to get into this topic because I fucking hate environmental science, but apparently we're running out of water because the water cycle is not working. It actually is working. Look it up, cat, because I'm not going to go into this. Uh, uh fine. Low. But anyway, the, I mean, I just feel like she kind of took this... I know it's rarity, and she does tend to be overly dramatic. Hell, she has a couch that she summons at random intervals. But... Yeah. It's like... Oh, God, that would be the hardest Jeff question ever, morality. It's obviously... It really would. It's obviously, what is Luna? Or who is Luna in this case? Oh, I'm sorry. The answer we were looking for is what is Trixie? Are you sure no, it's Derpy. Are you sure it isn't who is Twist? Who is who Twist? Is Twist? <laughs> Would you guys just watch? Little who Twist is going to turn out to be the biggest villain of the whole show. Who is Gilda? Because who she is not Bone. Oh, I'm sorry. The, who is but... Bone? What is Unikitty? Who is Unikitty? Unikitty is a cute abomination. The ads oh, I'm sorry, but the answer was obviously who is Unikitty. No, it the was Kitty is Amazing. Who guy. is Kitty Amazing? Well, hey, remember that show about ponies? No. No, no guys, 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 guys. The answer is clearly who is Bumblesweet. No. Who is Bumblesweet? <laughs> now that's uh, up the hour. Incoming Banhammer. <laughs> For those keeping track in today's episode, lightning has been kicked three times from the cloud. It's a new record. Not really. The, the last record was channel. like what ten? Oh god, we got we got to beat that. That was a good day. That was that a lot was of abortion and southern jokes. That was the day that Ditsy got mad at my when I made fun of the cell. She doesn't was do it, that anymore. Was it the day the music died? It was the day. Oh, <laughs> now I have to sing that song in my head. Yeah, thank you. You <laughs> day, did that with spec point. The yeah. day that Sombra died. Crystal. And, he was and we were singing. You must be strange to my my crystal empire guy. I you built too many stairs and pylons, now I pylons. must die. <laughs> you must construct additional <laughs> pylons. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was one of the best parts of the latest anthology. That was, it was so beautiful. 
I gotta watch that again after this. I gotta watch this. I haven't. I don't even know what the hell the anthologically thing. Good God, we haven't even gotten through half the half the topics yet. We've been oh, off topic God. that much. And we won't oh, worry God, about so anyway, not having enough time. Um, Rarity. Oh shoot, I forgot to explain this one to you, Morality. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, Rarity was overly dramatic. Our next topic is uh, the nod to bronies. Oh, we actually um, told him that it was kind of about Derpy, so we got him to post a picture of Derpy. Okay, good. Oh, is Yay! that the one where Trenda who goes down appreciated and posted Derpy? Yes. Yes. Which? Can we have enough Derpy? Okay, we get it. We know you saw me. Move on. No. Yeah. I do. I do honestly kind of agree with Lightning a little bit. I'm happy Derpy's back. Don't get me wrong. I am ecstatic that Derpy is back. <laughs> but they are kind of taking it a bit too far. Yeah. Yes. And it's just getting really annoying. Like she's gonna, like she's gonna Lightning, come to the Lightning, shut Katie up. Captain. He's What's so up, cute. Dude? Look at the stream. <laughs> ah, yay! Her with the upside down. Yes. <laughs> And you know what's sad is it's derpy, so it would still make amazing music. I know. Do you know what I want? I want like Octavia just sitting in the background, just looking at her with a wide, shocked expression. There actually is a video uh, with Derpy and Octavia, and Derpy's not oh good at music. Why? Why hey, am I? Hey, Morality's not mute. Why am I? Why am? Why am I suddenly reminded of the 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 the, the pony video? Where Octavia uses a piece of uh, DJ Pawn 3's tail. Oh my god! I don't think I've seen that one. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. You should watch Do it again. More. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can find that to send to um. That's really disturbing. No, it's it's what it, it causes like like a really loud bass drop to happen <laughs> while she's pulling the strings across the cello. <laughs> it's really, it's glorious if I can find it. Yeah, I've, I've got it. Hang on. Do it again. I really don't know if that's a good idea. There it is! Oh, uh, uh, but anyway. <laughs> uh, him pointing to Derpy and saying the unappreciated uh, was, it did kind of feel like it was another frickin' nod to us, you know, hey, we're sorry for kick, for, for pulling her out. And, you know, the apologies are what's getting old, Hasbro. Derpy's not, shit. leave Derpy alone. That's we got shitty Just stop apologizing. Brian, and now we have the shitty apologies. And, that, you know, and that's the thing is, that's the thing is, she was never unappreciated. We appreciated her greatly. We love the hell out of her. And if you're saying the ones that dissed her and tried to get her pulled from the show were unappreciated of her, you know, that's one thing. But we get it, Hasbro. You know, and we're, we're totally... We're totally over it, you know? You brought her back. We're happy. It's all good. Stop trying to kiss our ass. Well, you it, know, that's I'm wondering mostly too, DHX's um, work, really, with all this. Can I give one of my little weird conspiracy theories? Go ahead. What if they weren't, like, even though they were referencing Derpy, what if they literally weren't 100% referencing Derpy? What if they were referencing what Derpy stands for? which is the underappreciated in real life. Those that are handicapped and have problems and so many people just kind of toss them away as if they don't care or they don't want to deal with their problems. I don't know. She seemed really important that one Rainbow Dash episode where they had to replace Rainbow Dash. I don't know. That seems kind of really important. important. Well, yeah, but the whole reason Derpy was created or the whole reason that the Bronies love Derpy is because a lot of us have problems, whether it be mental, physical, whatever. And there was even one guy that had Derpy syndrome that wrote a letter to Hasbro about how grateful he was that there was a pony like Derpy that could show people that even though he had a handicap, that he was still valuable and important and loved. Again, exactly. Except for when she ruined the uh, town hall. 
Well, that happens. I think that's one of the other reasons that they were trying to point out the underappreciated thing. is because just because you mess up doesn't mean you should be hated. Yeah. Indeed. It's Unless a good message to send to kids, unlike the stupid southern thing. Yeah. Woof. I think that's the other thing. I think they were trying to uh, loop in their apology for making fun of the South. And they should apologize for that. I'm kidding. I don't know. Uh, if they pointed yeah. to AJ and said they don't appreciate it, I can understand that one, too. S speaking of AJ... Anyway, yes. Derpy being the representative of the unappreciated, I, I, can, I can deal with it if they do it like that. That's fine. I just um, don't want any more apologies. What I that. was kind of terrified about in this episode... <sighs> We knew this topic was coming. Hasbro, Hasbro, you fuckers. You sexualized Applejack. Stupid sexy Applejack. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Stupid sexy Applejack. <laughs> I'd like to point out, if I could find it, I probably took it down. In fact, I think I did. Never mind. I, t I did take it down. Uh, I find I this hilarious because a couple years, like about a year and a half ago, I did actually post a video on YouTube uh, taking a picture of Pinkie Pie, and it started slowly zooming in on her flank. And it was to the, to the uh, Ned Flanders saying, feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. And then they turned around, or and then it uh, zoomed out, and it was Applejack screaming, saying, "Stupid, sexy Pinky." <laughs> so uh, I find it hilarious that Applejack ended up being sexualized in this to the point where "stupid, sexy Applejack" has become a thing. And it's not so much—it's not so much just that the fact she does do the duck face, and dear God, she actually makes it look good. Like, I'm not even kidding. Applejack made you the duck face look good. You have a Applejack. No, I don't. I'm just saying that she did, in fact, make it look good. But it's just... They did so much with her in this episode. Uh, did anybody else notice the part where she was eating an apple and it looked like a certain something was dripping out of her mouth? Yes. That made me giggle. That made me giggle, a lot. too. Please tell me I'm not crazy. <laughs> You are crazy. This was established a long time ago. Okay. You know what? I'm kind of kind of done done with this episode. And you know Hope because you're done. crazy, you should probably construct additional pylons. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know. Just something to me about them purposely sexualizing a pony character just doesn't feel right to me. I mean, the fan art does that enough. And I mean, we've got some pretty nice anthro anthro pictures out there. I won't lie. I I myself do enjoy a good anthro Fluttershy every now and again. I'm about to kick me a super intimidator. Why? What you saying? <laughs> You know, there's only one thing that's bad about that ship. It would die faster than a be than a fetus in an abortion clinic. Um, <laughs> yes. I said Bumble, Bumble, in a way, yeah, they are technically sexualizing her. Oh, there was even a scene where her f her butt was like right in front of the camera, shaking like in a sexy way. I mean, they. Maybe not, okay, maybe sexualizing isn't the right word, but they were definitely trying to, what's a good word here? They sensualized without sexualizing. Oh yeah, my. Yeah, sensualized her. Sensualized her. Made her attractive. Wait. What? I'm glad I didn't get kicked for my joke. Keep the topic going, Ditsy. Um... As far as uh, sexual Applejack, that's really, really kind of disturbing. Um, well, 
I'd like to go in that uh, go into the fact that I love how they made her almost like Honey Boo Boo, and I love the rarity touching <laughs> Applejack's boobs. That makes me giggle. Um, Wait, what? I feel like they kind of made it Honey Boo Boo. Uh... Like not as far as like not as far. It almost seemed like a Honey Boo Boo episode because Good you know. Are we allowed to have this image up on the stream? Yes. Got a softcore porn going on here. Yeah. I allowed it. Chalice has done worse. Yeah, that's true. exactly what I said. Exactly. True, he has. If I, if all else fails, when Oats is editing it, he can just put, like, I don't know, Pinkie Pie's face over them or something. Why don't you put on Derpy's face? Because we can't get enough of that Derpy. Am I right? <laughs> Stop putting sexy pictures of AJ and Marshmallow on screen. I mean, oh. she's not good at Marshmallow. Dude, like, I don't even, I like, I don't like her name anymore. She's just Marshmallow Pony to me. Does that oh, make it. Sweetie Belle, does that make Sweetie Belle Mini Mellow? No, that just makes her look mini bitch. I don't know, I, I don't like know, the... Sweetie Belle's not that bad. Rarity is just a huge bitch. I like so. the name Mini Mellow now. From this day forward, Sweetie Belle is known as Mini Mellow. Alright. Does that mean you get to buy her in, pa in large packs? <laughs> well, that's my little joke. Shut the fuck up, cat. Shut up. No, you. Go construct additional pylons or something. No. Make yourself useful. Zerg forever. Fuck you. The Zerg was your base to death. Wow, we got a for those, uh, for those of you who don't watch, for those of you who aren't in our stream or aren't in our IRC, apparently we have some kind of heated discussion actually going on about this. I'm not really sure who's winning. Wait, on what? That's what? what's been distracting me. Is uh, right now we have a heated discussion thing kind of going on about whether or not it was offensive or not something. I don't know. I'm trying no, to No, actually um Twilight or Twi One Light. I was talking about how I made an abortion joke. Okay. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, I gotta stop swearing. Don it. And so that's why I said, like, we're not gonna make this political because there are those of us that have different views, and even though we may not agree on abortion, we don't agree on having our rights revoked. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta, I gotta mile it down, or so we're gonna get kicked off the. Uh... Don it. Lol. Okay, it's Twilight. Lol, light dude, lightning thought lightning. Twilight thought you were Bumble, apparently. <laughs> Cause I was laughing wow. at our number joke oh, right lol. when Lightning said that. <laughs> God, our boss is on our boss is on IRC. Everybody act cool. Hi, Alma. We're doing nothing of the sort of terribleness you told us not to do. All hail Alma. That's bad. Um, uh, seriously, this this isn't the worst we've dropped f bombs. You know this. Yeah, this is the worst lightning has been. Re remember when there weren't no rules? Remember when there were any rules? Remember yes, when remember. we used to stay on topics? The Pepperidge Pepperidge Farm that remembers. Never happened. Remember last year around this time, I think it was Valentine's Day, and we all sat around with a list. Wait, what are we talking about? Of pickup lines. Oh God, no! Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we're officially talking. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're officially ta done talking about the episode. It's time to move on to the segment. I like to call the return of Brony Pickup Line. May I start it off? Please. Are you related to Tom? Because you rock my world. Do I need to go find this tumbler again? Yes, I do. <sighs> yes, you what do. The, the fact you closed it is bad. Well, I'm a good <sighs> Bad, Jitsy. Let's buck till you're derpy. No, stop. Let's say you have to head over to my sweet apple acres and do some bucking. Oh, God. Are you Fluttershy? Because I heard you're good with animals and I need help taming my snake. No. 
Nightmare night, what a sight. You look like something sweet to bite. Baby, I can have you screaming louder than Luna's Royal Canterlot voice. I'm gonna be like morality and take a vow of science, silence for the rest of the episode. The, sh the <laughs> Tumblr stopped loading for me. Like, it's seriously not loading past the Zakora one. Oh, You must Refresh. be Applejack because you're making me big like Bloomberg. You don't have to wait for the Grand Galloping Gala. I can give you the best and height ever anytime you want. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was a Braille cutie mark. <laughs> oh god, you stole that from Sweetie <laughs> Belle. <laughs> stole it from her old bot. Look at the ISE. Oh no, god, Trixies. no, Emma, no, no, Emma, hey, no! Hey, how do you feel? Hey, tri tr oh, what's your name? Trichy. Almost violated no tr Bumblesweet. No Trixies about it. You're great and powerful in my eyes. No one cares that Bumblesweet oh, got violated by Alma. Your mane looks a mess. Want me to brush you all night? I'm oddly Don't okay be with shy. this because I love people brushying me. Brushy, Don't be shy. Brushy, brushy. Show us your pie. Oh god, that one. <laughs> that is probably my favorite. Are you a rock because you're my destiny? No. It sounded like you said Desi there. It sounded like you said, are you a rock because you're my destiny? <laughs> That's disturbing. And no one who knows oh, who God! doesn't know Desi will ever will ever get that. Who is Desi? I'm not explaining every person we mentioned to you, Lightning. Oh. Oh, here's one. My <laughs> my horn is leading me to my destiny. It's somewhere in your pants. <laughs> Are you a unicorn? Because you're making me horny. Don't be sure. <laughs> like sure, sure I still love that. This one. is the worst the... segment for me ever. I can't handle it. You like, guys I are so can't evil. Open the Tumblr anymore. It won't open for some reason. Something's Aww. wrong. Twitchy, I know you were talking about this with a good friend of yours. Why don't you? Do you remember any of them? What? Seriously, you don't remember that? No, yeah. I really don't. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'll tell Here you Here we go. Brony Valentine's. These shall be good. Maybe. Ugh, just kill it. Just kill me now. Mm. The ship is no! sinking. The ship is sinking faster than the Titanic. There was a really <laughs> good one that... There was a really good one that I read earlier that I wanted to... Oh, here... Here we go. It will be your destiny. I may be hard, but I'm definitely not a rock. <laughs> oh, I found one. I'm a super duper party right. pony in bed. I don't know. I, I started looking <laughs> at some brony valentines. Here's one that says, you make my heart go all... <laughs> I'm gonna make you scream, yeah! <laughs> oh, Twitchy, I've got one for you. Yes? The great and powerful Trixie does not trust wheels, but she trusts you. Aww. <laughs> Gilda's just says you're not that lame. <laughs> This one's gonna be really corny, but it's a special shout out to someone. You must have a bee on your flank, because you're very bumble sweet. No. Wait. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> Cat, please kill me now. I give you full oh. permission. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry I about that. I just my body can't take so much so much cheese. Guys, I found a button bash one. Cheese sandwich. No, it says you can be my number one. Aww. I Lame. want you more than a cutie mark. Isn't that oh, yeah. Huh? Is your Nothing. I wanna make I wanna make your cutie mark my hand. 
But ponies don't have hands. Is that a cutie mark on your finger? Are you just happy to see me? Wow, no. Cat, what? That was what? a bad one. That was a bad one. I don't get that one. Shut up. I don't I get that I you till you're derpy. I'd love to study your body. There's a party in my pants and you're invited. <laughs> oh my god! Derpy one says, I'd like to taste your muffin. <laughs> Please, enough! I can't! Shut it, Bumble! Do my best. Yeah, you you did fail, Cat. It's like Josh. you crashed and burned. Like, oh, can't say it. Some of these Wait, are terrible. Uh, I can't say it. So mad. Apples aren't the only thing I'll be bucking tonight. Oh my. Ugh. <sighs> I think so, we're out. I'll, How long is this gonna I'll continue drop, on? I'll drop you. I'll drop you hotter than the base. <laughs> oh, I found a Doctor Who one Will that's you totally my not related to ponies. Taste the rainbow like a muffin. Twitchy, ah. I found a Doctor Who one. Okay. It says exterminate, exterminate. Except you. You're cute. <laughs> That's adorable. I love Daleks. Daleks like kitten. I found another one that's sombra looking in a mirror, and it just says, Hey there, beautiful. Come around here often. <laughs> I got some candy. You want to try some? But... Uh, oh, no. Getting late. I fail at this. What? It's too late. You really do. You really do, man. This is why I'm. You, this is why I'm being quiet, cat, because I'm bad at this. <sighs> Take a to, silence my internet me. is like flipping out, man. I, I'm just gonna to... go to my corner and cry slowly by myself. Like my internet is like flipping out. It doesn't want me to look brony pickup lines apparently. Okay, intimidator. Trying to do to me. I'll be the spike to your rarity and awkwardly lust for you or lust after you from afar. Good at jokes, not pick up lines. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end this. Yeah, we're before... gonna end this. What is? No, 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 no. Let me talk, cat. Let me, let me talk. Here, let, let me talk. I'll do what? I'm in this world, cat. Nick gets rid of all the way that's Ditsy's the only having... way you can get it turned off. Ditsy's having a conversation with herself now. No, I'm talking to my mother who doesn't know how to turn off her new tablet. I was going to say, we're going to end this with the number one worst Brody pickup line of all time. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> girl, you'll be coming just like Rainbow Dash in 10 sex flat. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Bumble, we did. Bumble, we did. Bumble, we did. Bumble, we did do a, a button mash one. Ditsy did at one point. Yep. Yeah, I guess. It, it was like, uh, will you buy player one? Or player two? Player one. You're a player four. It said I'd let you be my player one. Hey, play it for the best four thing. Alma, Alma is like, we broke Alma. <laughs> How was Alma not kicked? We broke because Alma. Because Alma doesn't get kicked. <laughs> oh, oh, because she's above. Is she? Is she above? He, Alma, I don't Alma know. is a he. Oh, he. Damn it! My brain is fucked. <laughs> exactly. Hey, I'm, Alma, I'm, congratulations I'm so... on the sex change. <laughs> I'm so dead. I think it's only me and Ash is only transgender. Moment. You're so fired, cat. Oh, I'm sorry. It makes me feel any better. I'll kick myself. Uh, <laughs>
Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was a short episode. Uh, again, I do apologize for that. Consider this basically part two of what we were supposed to be doing on um, Thursday before we got cut out. We're actually at one hour, so it's not that short. Yeah. And Definitely true. an hour full hour episode. True. Eh. And if Forrest had been here, we know this had been going on even longer, so... I yeah. wouldn't be resorted to terrible crap puns that I just thought off of my completely high head. Gesundheit, Ditsy. Dankeschön. I don't even know what the hell that hey, was. Hey, hey, speak American, you German so, nerd. All right. All right, ladies Gotta and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and end this before lightning starts offending even more countries. Pick the hooden. Before the... Stop it, you Swedish. Go make a freaking bank or whatever the hell you freaking weirdo we do. Will, we will see you all Lation. next... We will see you all next week for the episode that I am aptly, dummy, uh, aptly dubbing. Blah. I... The... Dubbing... The return of Flutter Guy. What well, could it dun, be? Dun, 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 it be dun, my little pony? Dun. What about why? Why not name it My Little Pony? Narrated by Morgan Freeman. No. Also, Appling. Hmm. Huh? I may what? not be able to come up with <laughs> with good uh, pickup lines, but at least I can spell. At least I can speak. No, you can't. I don't even think of the word. Actually, Twitchy, uh, just repeat that next episode title again. I was going to say, we're going to end this now, and I will see you all next week for the, or for the episode that I have aptly, tu aptly dubbed, The Return of Flutter Guy. Dun, dun, dun. Eh, I still prefer the version from the Croods. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as is per the norm, I will now end this by asking you all to politely and quietly please exit my cloud. <laughs> That's God for surprise morality. Never has that ever been more appropriate. <laughs> Except, you know, when someone dies. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 we can fix that. Mora uh, uh... My right. name is Lightning. Kick, quickly, uh, did did he? Did he? What are you? Yes. Kick lightning, kick lightning. <laughs> no, it didn't work. Moved out of there your we go. Channel. Okay, go morality. Okay. User joined your channel. What? That is weird and I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What the hell was that? That was huh? a spaz. Anyways, I'm off. See you guys later. And show end.